Hello guys, this is Joshua 92 and this is the long awaited corner kick tutorial. <clears throat> I've been saying I'll doing it and this is it. So basically it's the tutorial if you haven't seen it, the goal that I scored in um my last goals sort of episode thing. What happens is you make the corner. I'm gonna show you how to make the corner as well, I'm gonna show you what to do and all that malarkey, but I'm just gonna show you a few examples of what you could score. As you can see there's overhead, but you this is what you're gonna be scoring. You're gonna be scoring overheads you're going to be scoring skilled shots, you're going to be scoring headers, you're going to be scoring, um, I don't know, rebounds, whatever. You can score whatever you like because we're going to cram everyone in the box. So yeah, this is just the tutorial of what what's like, what you're going to be scoring, as I said. You, as you see, there's a header there. I've scored an overhead. Now, what you need to do is you need to have a big striker on this. You need to be having like a big, big target man. And obviously, the more height you have, the better it's going to be because he's going to be able to like muscle people out of him and do it. So I'm going to show you tutorials on both sides. That was one side, and this this is a few goals on the other side. So what you want to do is, as the guy puts his arm up there, as he puts it down, just as the guy drops it, you go on a double tap X. So I was going to show you now. He puts his arm up. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he puts his arm up, drops his arm. Double tap X. So drops his arm. Double tap X. And when you take the shot, you're going to be wanting to hold LT or L2, PS3, Xbox. You want to LT, L2, and you're going to double tap the shoot button. So whatever that is, you know, B, circle, or whatever you use, you want to going to want to double tap the shoot button, and that will give you the effect of doing a, a, a sort of a fancy flick or a fancy overhead kick as you just see there what goal that is but yeah uh, you can score whatever you want sometimes it'll be a header sometimes it'll be an overhead sometimes it'll be like an attempt of an a skill shot and as you can see there the guy cleared it but it still came to one of my guys because everybody gets drawn into the big target man and obviously the guy was free and he scored it and bang goal so yeah this is just an, a couple of um, examples of what you're going to be scoring in games. Obviously Ebra's just bang one in there. Macon crossed it in. But yeah, Ebra, Ronaldo, Benzema, <laughs> Shamak, Bentner, Agbonlahor. You know, any, anyone can score one of these goals. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyone can score one of these goals. It's it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's just... Anyone can score one. It doesn't have to be Ronaldo. It doesn't have to be Benzema. It doesn't have to be Ibra. It can just be anyone. And even players like Messi can score goals like this. I have scored an overhead with Messi that I didn't record. But yeah, it, it, it can be a small guy. But it's better to be a big guy. But anyway, enough of that. I'm going to show you how to do it. You're probably all wondering, how the fuck do I do it? Shut the fuck up. Here it is. Right. I'm going to start off with... What should we start? We'll start off with this side first. And I'm going to show you where to put all the players and... And where, where they all need to be going. So obviously you need... The two wing backs are going to be running back. So you need one guy running back. One guy running back. And one guy in the middle running back as well. So that's three guys all in total. That's just in case you totally fuck it up and get caught on the break. So yeah, what you need is... The main guy is going to be running forward. <coughs> the main guy is going to be running forward. That's going to be your big target man. And then you're going to get two players running in. So you're going to get one running in there, and then three running into the middle, just in case for those those spills. And one guy front post in case you want to knock it on, because <coughs> you can just quickly take it, and you know, before he drops his arm, you can quickly take it and give it to the guy there as he runs in, and you know, head it in to the main guy, or head it into whoever, or try and never kick from there, you know, be ambitious, why not? But make sure you're holding out, make sure you've got your finger on that LT button. Because that's like the main, the main sort of element to scoring an over kick. So yeah, that's basically if you want to pause it, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. If you want to do this tutorial, that's what you need to do. Basically, that's what you need to be putting your players. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna show you from the other side now. Pretty much the same concept, just a little, little variant of the three men at the back um, covering you in case you get caught on a break. It's gonna be. I think on mine it's the two wing backs and my centre mid, my defensive centre mid. But yeah, as long as you have that that main big guy not taking the corner, you'll be right. You know, make sure you take the corner with like I don't know if you've got David Silva or Messi or whatever. Just take it with a small guy. 
Same concept again. Big guy running forward. Guy at the back post in case something. In case you want to change your mind. Two guys running in the middle. One guy running front post. And your three guys at the back in case you get caught on a break. <coughs> and then if I run it, you'll see how it all works. There it is. You know that's how it's all going to be working out. But obviously the, the dead defend you defend other guys defenders. Going to see your guy back post and you think, oh, he's back post. I'm going to get everyone to the back post. And then suddenly he starts running forward. He's thinking, shit, shit. And then you're free. But obviously, if you're doing it against your friends constantly, he's going to know, oh, yeah, that's how he's doing it. But, yeah, that was the tutorial in a nutshell. Cheers for watching. If you liked it, drop a comment, share it, you know, let everybody see it. I think it's a good, good tutorial. Cheers for watching, guys. And obviously, if you scored a good goal doing this, Drop me a comment or drop me a video response and I'll gladly put it in. So yeah, cheers for watching guys.